guys, welcome to Make This. Let's get making. If this is your first time watching, my name is Kara. And I'm the creator behind Never Skip Brunch. In this episode, we're gonna be creating some mug rugs or what other people might refer to as coasters. It's a great way to use your favorite yarn to make a little accent piece for your space. Before we get started, make sure to hit that red subscribe button below so you can stay up to date with the rest of this series as well as all my other great ideas. We are on episode number seven of my series, Make This. This season's all about yarn. So there's six other episodes to binge with amazing projects that you can make along with me. So before we get started making, let me tell you what you need. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need is a piece of cardboard. Any piece works, you want it to be relatively sturdy. And then a box knife some kind of cutting surface. I'm using this piece of scrap balsa wood so I don't scratch up my table. A coaster, we're just using this for a size reference so it can be square, round, literally any kind. And then some yarn, you can use any colors you want. And then a box knife, a ruler, a pen, and you'll also need some scissors. A bobby pin also works pretty well too. I am just gonna start by tracing my coaster on the middle of my cardboard piece. This weaving technique is going to make a square coaster, so I'm just looking at kind of the width, so I can get kind of a good look at like what coaster size should be. So I'm just gonna trace on either side and then the top and bottom. The next thing that I'm gonna do is start cutting um, into the top of my cardboard. I'm gonna cut a little more frequently than a fourth an inch, um, and I just wanna make sure I have enough space for my coaster to be fully covered. So starting right here, and I'm just gonna start cutting into the top, making little nicks that are evenly spaced. This is going to create like a weaving situation for my yarn. So let's start here. A fourth an inch is a pretty good distance. If you have yarn that's semi-thick, you don't want it to be too small. And you wanna make sure your cuts are all the way through the cardboard. So um, I turn mine on the edge just to make sure the cuts are all the way down. You can see this is what my first edge looks like and now I'm gonna go and do the other edge. Okay, so with that done, it's time to start wrapping the yarn and you can just kind of stick it down in my groove on the very first one. And now I'm just gonna start wrapping. So now it's time to start your weaving. Basically, you're gonna take your string and go over one of the pieces and then under the next, over a piece, under the next, and then when you turn around and come back, it's gonna be the exact opposite.
Okay, so once you have all of this filled out, it is time to um, take it off of your cardboard and tie off the end. So you wanna make sure everything is just pushed pretty tightly together and even. And then you can just start by cutting up at the top all of the strings. Tie these, the way I like to do it is take two and loop them around. Um, because with the box knot, the strings are gonna be going two different directions. And with this like looped knot, the strings um, stay together. So they're less frayed and they're a little more um, straight. It just looks a little more polished. So after you're done tying them, you can just try to kind of brush them out. And if they feel a little bit long, you can give them a trim. And then just do the other side as well. Okay, so the next step is to get all these little tails and put them into the weaving. So starting just on the bottom, you wanna just put them on your needle and then you just kind of go in and out um, on the back of your weaving to attach them and help them be secure. So you can just kind of weave them back through into the little rug and then um, you can just cut off the end. I'm gonna use some fabric glue on these ends to make sure they stay in place. So then you can just use some fabric adhesive and just put a little bit on the end so that it sticks down and it is secure on the back. is just to use a cat brush or like a wire pet brush and you just brush the tassels so that they kind of fray and become fluffy. So if you like this fluffier tassel look versus this kind of more stringy tassel look, um, you can pick either one, but if you want fluffy tassels, that's kind of how to get it. And then after I brush them out, I like to give it another trim just so that it's a little more even. And that is the finished mug rug. If you're gonna use these on your patio, I would recommend taking some Mod Podge and painting over it and letting that dry um, because then it helps them wear a little better outside, especially on the back where you have um, your strings kind of tied in. But that is how you make a mug rug.
I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to like it, not just emotionally. Give it a thumbs up below and then hit that red subscribe button so you'll stay up to date with the entire Make This series as well as all my other fun DIY and home design videos. I'm on my way back home